Hey everybody, it's Ever After High Boy, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to do Darling Charming's signature hairstyle. So as you guys can see, I already boil washed her hair to, be, to have it straight. And I'm gonna be using straws and bobby pins for this look, and I'll also be using a clear rubber band. I'm gonna start sectioning the hair into two sections and I'll secure the top section using a clear elastic to have it out of the way. Then I start wrapping a, a section of hair around the straw like this. And when your strand is curled all the way to the end, you want to place a bobby pin at the top of the uh, straw to secure it and do the same thing at the end. I'm going to be doing the same thing for the next strand and slide the straw uh, into the same bobby pin you used for the first curl. Because her uh, original look is so natural and quite poofy, I try alternating the directions that I curl the hair in. So as you can see, the first two curls go away from her face and the third curl goes towards her face. And I'm gonna continue curling the rest of the hair in opposite directions. When you're done curling the bottom hair, you just start doing this, the exact same thing for the rest of the hair. When you're done curling all of her hair, it should, it should look something like this. You can uh, choose to boil wash it or leave the curls overnight. Boil washing will give uh, the curls a tighter look and it will last a lot longer, but I'm choosing to just leave the curls in overnight for a softer look and a less permanent look. This is the day after and you can see me taking the straws out. As you can see her box art has much looser poofier curls so I'm gonna be separating all the curls breaking them into two. This will give the hair much more volume and makes the curls look more natural. When you're done loosening up the curls you're ready to make her signature poof. As you can see, Darling's poof is quite messy with loose strands at the front. At the side of her face, there's a big chunk of hair and on the other side of her face, there's just a small piece of hair that's out of, the, out of her poof. Right now I'm gonna be starting sectioning the hair uh, that I'm not gonna be using for the poof. I'm taking this blonde piece of hair right here and a small strand of blue at the same side. Then I secure the rest of the section to put in the hairstyle later. Then on the other side, as you can see, the loose strand of blonde hair is kind of coming out of the blue. To recreate this look, I'm taking a blonde piece of her hair and cross a strand of blue over this blonde curl. This is what it will look when you're done. To create the poof, you take the section you just made and brush out the hair. When the section is completely smoothed out, you bring the hair to the back, twist her hair a couple of times and push it upwards to make sure it forms a poof like this. Now you want to secure the twisted section by taking a strand of hair at the back of her head and secure the poof in place using a clear elastic. When the hair is secured in place, darling should look something like this. If the hair isn't looking perfect, you can carefully tuck and replace her hair. When you're done, it should look something like this. As you can see, I put back Darling's accessories to make her look even more accurate. As you can see in her artwork, the crown is placed behind her poof, so I'll put the crown back like this. I really hope you like this tutorial. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel to see even more videos like this.
Also, make sure to follow me on my Instagram at everafterhighboy.